Good evening and thanks for joining us on Democracy in Practice. Uh, this is a program that engages topical uh, uh, issues that uh, border on our democratic experiment. My name is Shafiu Suleiman. Today we're looking at one of the basic and fundamental uh, responsibility of every responsive government, securing the lives of the people. Now we're looking at securing the lives, the task of securing uh, the lives of the people in a democratic setup in particular, because uh, we're running uh, a democracy uh, in Nigeria, a representative democracy, and uh, of course uh, the constitution of the country explicitly made it clear uh, that the fundamental responsibility of every government is first to secure the lives of the people and then guarantee their welfare. And today on the platform I have um, the national chairman of the Action Democratic Party, uh, talking about Engineer Yabai Gisub Sani. Uh, together we'll be brainstorming on the task of securing Nigeria in a democratic setup. Now, you would agree with me that the issue of security has been on the front burner for quite some time now. And uh, while authorities concerned are making efforts, you know, to address the problem frontally, again, and the lives of people are being lost on a daily basis. Uh, you know, some are being abducted for ransom, others are being killed outrightly. A number of people have been displaced. So the country is in a very serious security situation. Now, as we speak, about 80 uh, students, you know, some young students, children, you know, who have been going to an Islamic school are in captivity at the moment. And some as, as young as six, seven, you know, part of those that have been abducted by uh, these uh, kidnappers or bandits uh, in Niger State. Uh, as we speak, they appear to be to have been abandoned, so to speak, by the respective authorities that uh, were elected principally to secure their lives. Now, their life is in danger. The abductors are asking for, I think, 100 million naira or so, and uh, no one is yet to advance any um, hands of support, you know, in rescuing these uh, young children. Ah, for fault of no dares, because, of course, they have to go out and seek for knowledge. And in, in the course of that, they were abducted and they've been spending days in captivity now. Nobody cares about what they're going through in the hand of, hands of their abductors. Perhaps because they are children of the poor? Well, it is not uh, the end of it, you know. We've had about a series of reports of kidnappings and, and, and of course, killings of people in Kaduna, in Kaduna, recently, I think, uh, along Kaduna, Zaria, where 30 people were shot dead and others abducted and so on. The lists keep on growing. So we'll be looking at all of this on democracy in practice. And as I told you, I have in the studio, Engineer Yaba Giyosusani. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much, Shafiu, for having me. Yes, I'm sure your heart must have, you know, was heavy when I was reeling out some of the statistics in terms of the, uh, you know, the level of insecurity in the country. And uh, even, especially this incident, you know, that, Im that involves these young children, you know, Islamic uh, students who are being kidnapped. Their parents cannot gather this amount of money that is being expected. And the governments, the authorities concerned are also silent on the matter. Um, let me get your general perspective on the insecurity situation in the country. Um, how are you looking at it? Is it a failure of governance, or is it, you know, how do we how do we really situate it? Well, if you, it's a, it's a matter of regret, really, that uh, we have found ourselves uh, in this mess uh, as far as the governance of this country is concerned. Uh, you see, there's what we call quid pro quo between mm. the citizens mm. and the government. That's right. The citizens have handed over mm. the mandate. their mm. resources, okay. their allegiance mm. to a set of people that constitute the government. And they expect a return. Mm. Like you rightly said, security of lives and property and also welfare mm. 
just you know of the citizens so that's why the international community has come to the conclusion that nigeria is a fully failed state mm. has it got to that stage it or is it a failing state no no it has failed um, because if you look at the nigeria, statistics no no, no. Mm. nigeria is a fully failed state fully failed in the sense that the government has failed in their fundamental duty of protecting the citizens they have failed mm. in spite of the fact that mm. the resources have been handed over to them and the regret again is the fact that the person presiding over the affairs of this country mm. does not come forward as to somebody who cares Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm talking about Mr. President. Yeah, I know. The more I've seen him, you know, going, um, you know, helter skelter, inter interfacing with those that matters in terms of security arrangements, how many making times? efforts to reach out to international communities for support, and all of that. Would say he has. No, no, no. Care. No, he has failed. He hmm. has failed. That's why the nation has failed. Truth must be told. You see, of course, we do not expect Mr. President to go to the war front. Right. The battle front mm -hmm. to go and fight the bandits, mm -hmm. but we expect him to ensure that he appoints people mm -hmm. who can deliver. Mm -hmm. That's what the leader, the leader has. He has a sense of identification. Yeah. Those who can deliver, delegation and he authority. delegates his authorities to them. You know, but mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. We have seen that those that, those that he has appointed have mm -hmm. failed woefully. Mm -hmm. And why I say that it's a matter of regret is that those who even failed woefully were rewarded mm -hmm. with appointments, a higher level appointment for that matter. Mm -hmm. Diplomatic appointment. You know? Mm -hmm. So what what is what is Mr. telling the nationals? What is he telling us? So the fact of the matter is that if Mr. President does not rise to the occasion, mm -hmm. believe you me we are in for something that most of us are praying that it doesn't happen right okay before we talk about the responsibilities or the roles of other components of government yes uh in the case of failure um you, you rightly mentioned that there is a pact between the people and <laughs> the authorities exactly those that they elected yes between the, the government and the government and the government exactly and the fact is perhaps given i mean we've given you a mandate and to the secure our lives yeah. and our allegiance also to you yes so, so in the event you know of failure yes where you know authorities uh, you know agree or admit that they have failed yes that is if there is admission now yes what should have happened because some will say there must someone must have to take a responsibility yes uh you talked about delegation of responsibility yes yes mr president has delegated responsibility yes. and if there is a failure along yes. the line yes who takes responsibility and what need to be done yeah. you know to those who have been saddled or, or given the, the responsibility to do that well I think I'll put the blame squarely mm. on the doorsteps of the National Assembly. Okay. Because the system we're operating is not just a loose system. Yeah. It has safeguards. It has checks and balances. Mm -hmm. You know. We have people that are supposed to represent us in the National Assembly in the in the in the both houses. That is House of Reps yeah, and, and, the, also, the and the Senate. That's right. You know. They are the ones that should now act on behalf of the people that elected them mm. and do the work that they are sent there to do mm. like the situation we have today mm. it is their responsibility mm. to summon mr president okay. you know mm. and give you matching orders okay because that's what the constitution it says in an ideal situation anyway okay. well, well, uh, well, well if we don't no but <laughs> but the fact of the matter is that if if, yes. if they can do that mm. then the system has failed well, but then, uh, so, let's look at it perhaps they don't um they don't take it that far to say we're inviting mr president but they've also uh, made an attempt or they've they've invited you know those that are responsible uh, for uh, securing the, the country talking about the service chiefs and all of that those yes. that matters you know they invited them interrogate them and find out what is happening uh, the committees for army and the rest of them have been interfacing have been inquiring have been asking questions what happened to the money we bought it out what happened to the monies we allocated for procuring arms yeah. for this for that yeah why are we not having the security isn't that enough to say that the national assembly is also 
to the, its responsibility? No, it's not. It's not enough. Okay. It's not enough because they have not exhausted all the avenues, I mean, all the powers available to them to deal with the situation. Okay. You know, bringing this executive into line in, 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 uh, in delivering, mm. you know, on the mandate that's given to the, exec to the to executive, which is the Mr. President in this particular case, because in this country, in the system mm. we are operating today, mm. it says that all of us are just one. We are equal to one. Yeah. And Mr. President is, is one person. Amongst you know that mm. all of us you know one among that, equals among equals right. you know, as a citizen right. you know but he's he's given the you know that privilege that we added over everything to him that our affairs security the property lives the resources mm. everything mm. we handed over entrusted yeah entrusted to you mm. so now but mm. the safeguard is that the national assembly is there as a watchdog mm. on behalf of the citizens. The situation doesn't need to get this bad before mm. the National Assembly should do, you know, should have, you know, should have done what they are supposed to do, mm. you know. But be as it may, how it is today, mm. I think the National Assembly still has a lot to do in rescuing the situation because mm. if not, if they don't do anything, mm. believe you me, your guess is as good as mine. It's like we're in a roller coaster where we land, nobody can really tell you, mm. you know. So, that, so, that, that so, 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 so the issue is that. We need National Assembly mm. to summon Mr. President, you know, and tell him the gospel truth about what is happening in this country. If he's not, if he doesn't know, mm. but is he not? Is he? Is he? Is he, is he, is he uh, are we? And, 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 and we, as you said, yeah, they invited at one time. He refused to go. Mm. So what did they do? Mm. So they to accomplish it. Well, and perhaps, perhaps, perhaps that is tragedy mm. of electing, mm. you know, all the. The man, all the people that are presenting in you know, Nigerians mm. for one particular party, mm. or do this is the only opposition political party. How many? The 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 president, the president's party is the majority in the the both houses. Mm. You know, so that 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 is the tragedy of this that we have in this country. Mm. If we had had perhaps a, a, a national assembly that the majority is from an opposition party and we have the executive that is uh, from another party, mm. perhaps we have the, the full you know, uh, checks and balances that is intended by the Constitution in terms of if, the operation of the... If, of if the it's the failure of the system we chose, you know, as a democratic uh, pathway, for instance, uh, many have been asking for, you know, for a return to the parliamentary system. Uh, perhaps uh, we'll get that more checks and balances that we require. Um, could that be, could, it, could that have saved the situation if perhaps we have... In, in every, in every mm. system you have, mm. if you have leadership failure, mm. there are consequences. And that's what we are suffering in this country. That's leadership failure. And these are the consequences of leadership failure that Nigeria is suffering from. Mm. That's why nothing seems to be working. You know, mm. People are knocking their heads against each other. You know, it's like you having a house where there is no leader. You know, in the house, the children will behave. Like for all, will behave. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you know, and anyhow, mm -hmm. that's what we have in this country today. Mr. President should please rise to the occasion, you know, and mm -hmm. act as a president of the country. Mm -hmm. Well, I know that I like mm -hmm. what he said about the Twitter mm -hmm. when they banned the Twitter. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's not so much that I'm, I'm. I like the way he said because he could have said it differently. Okay. But I like the 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 uh, the whole idea of it. That we now have a president who is now alive, to, you know, in the right, you know, is, 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 is to the occasion. Yeah. So I like that. I want you to do more, yeah. especially on the area of security yeah. and other things like that. Yeah, we, might, so, we might be expecting, you know, bigger and um, uh, tougher decisions. He, he was having an interface with the security chiefs this morning, an emergency one. Perhaps we don't know what will likely come out of it. Now that we're getting some drastic measures taken, you know, by the government, there yes. are also insinuations that. Government, government is by pronouncing. You see, the, mm -hmm. the present words from the present matters. Mm -hmm. You know, these are the things that perhaps yeah. they didn't you know, you know, you know, know yeah. that if I say something, it matters. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that the people are everywhere. Right. But once he says something, mm -hmm. you know, if well, we've seen the magic one, you know, those uh, statements he made recently, exactly. Have exactly. Made. we've exactly. seen the level of uh, you know confidence exactly. among the, the discussions, narratives are changing. People yeah. are now taking his 
serious. That's right. They, they are not unlike before they have taken mm. the, the, the whole government and the person of Mr. President mm. for granted. Yeah. You know, they thought, yeah, well, it's, it's already spent. Mm. So, so like they should see more of this. Yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm mm. encouraging Mr. President to do mm. more of that, you know. Yes. Although I am not, I don't subscribe to a situation where mm. I will be denied opportunity mm. to express my views, you know, as, 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 as a citizen of this country, yeah. because if you ban Twitter, mm. you know, mm. uh, I this is just one out of several other social media platforms, yes. and perhaps yes. also, uh, they, 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 I mean, there must be a stable country before any, I mean, we have a spread of freedom of expression, but uh, we have limitations as to what we can I do. I agree, especially the way it's coming from, uh, from somebody that is not even a citizen of this country, right. a company that is just there for profit, mm -hmm. you know, uh, first and foremost, that's yeah, what they're there for, you know, they always must, and you can even see from their actions, mm -hmm. you know, that even fighting their headquarters, mm -hmm. they didn't fight Ghana, it here, yeah. they went to Ghana, so they are the, all the, the, the most of the people that are using mm -hmm. Twitter for here, millions, yeah, talking about 40 million, 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 Internal affairs yes, yes. of a sovereign nation, yes, right. and to the extent that you delete mm. the tweet from your president, yeah. you know, uh, and allowing others who have been calling exactly, for, exactly. So, 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 so I believe that Mr. President is, is right, you know, I'm 100 percent in support of what he's doing as far as that is concerned mm. because we're a sovereign nation, mm. our president must be respected, yeah. you know. In the case of Trump, mm. they didn't just delete uh, Trump's tweets, you know, they gave him you know, a lot of warnings, indications that, mm. well, you know, and, this and, and you can't even compare what the Trump. Trump was actually turning out exactly what the president is yeah. talking yeah. about. So, so, so the issue yes. is that we want governors, and I want Mr. Ben to write the location, okay, to do more of whatever he's doing lately, mm. you know, so that Nigerians will now know that we have a president. Okay. It doesn't matter, you, see, you can make a mistake. Yeah. He should forgive you for taking the wrong action, mm. you know, but if he will not forgive you for not taking any action at, at all. all. That's so, right. so that's 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 oh, okay. Thing. Now, talking about perhaps supporting the central government, because yes, we have. The central government we have 36 states of the federation and we have governors you know all over this uh, states yeah. they also have responsibilities in their own right they are the chief security officers of their respective states yes. how for instance uh, how would you describe a situation whereby a governor who is elected to protect the lives of the people you know would sleep with, with his two eyes closed while 80 young children young students of islamic school uh, in the captive captivity of uh, you know kidnappers, uh, you know no one knows the condition at which they are, how they are pairing. There were even well, even reports a reported case of one of the, the the students that died and so on. How how would you I mean rate the responses coming from the subnational government? So first, let me tell you, my heart goes to the families of uh, mm. these poor children. We are praying for the end that God would uh, is uh, if it was, yeah. you know yes, well, uh, rescue uh, them. yes rescue them and then. Mm. To, join their families because I had that two mm. of uh, two mothers okay. of, you know died you know collapsed you know on hearing of the kidnap of their children mm. and some of the children today you know are, you know, dead, are, are no more because they died mm. you know about, about three or four of them mm. that's the number we don't know how many really are still alive mm. so but let me tell you mm. people you have today at the Hills of Wales as governors mm. and whatever you believe you me they are not proud of this country at all. They don't like this country. Mm. The only thing they like about they have no empathy. They have no sympathy. Mm. You know. They, they because they, they do not connect with the people. people of this country because they are not elected by the people. Uh, well, but they, 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 they the election. That's just for, own, yeah. that is just for the sake of for the show, you know, to, to fulfill the righteousness. Otherwise you know election votes don't count. They mm. too do not they, they too do not believe that you are going to vote for them. Mm. It's their money. They believe that maybe their godfather or the have we got into this stage we are that stage. The mm. mandate of the people is no longer it's nothing. If it's nothing today they will not they will not steal the budget wholesale do come to Abuja, collect money, go back home, share it amongst themselves. Money will come that will go to local government, you know, uh, at here, yeah. and they will hijack it. It's an organized crime we have as as as, as governors or local governments or whatever you in, in the place. That's why 
the bandits, the people you call bandits, mm. to me, you know, I, God knows that I don't support it. Mm. I'm praying that God will touch their heart mm. and they will, you know, come back to their, mm. to, 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 to at least accept, you know, the situation and let us deal with the situation democratically, not mm. in this manner. Right. They are, it's, 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 it's a total pushback, you know, they are trying to react. Mm. Because the situation where this person that you call your elected, you know, uh, governor or whatever it is, representation, Collect your money, he refused to build schools for you, mm. he refused to repair roads in uh, your roads, mm. he refused to, 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 to build the hospitals for you, he refused to even fund even education, nothing. But he collect this money, he goes and build houses in uh, in, uh, in Dubai or what have you, or he will just take off, you know, like some of the governors are not even in town, mm. like my own governor, mm. just mm. Did, mm. he traveled out, mm. and in the midst of all this, all this is happening, mm. is that person that you think have empathy? You know what? What is it for God's sake that the government will be doing outside his his his, his hey, when children, yeah. you know, children of that age mm. were kidnapped and then then nothing, they didn't even go to to sympathize with these people. So that's to tell you that mm. these governments we are talking about for long they have taken the people of this country for granted. Mm. That's why, and this person that are reacting now that you mm. call bandits and what have you, mm. I pray God please touch their heart, let them abandon that you know yes. uh, that way of uh, of, of reacting, mm. you know, so that we can solve this problem. Mm. Because you can you can you can judge from the money they are asking from these people. You know they know that these are poor children. The families are poor. Some of them can't even pay school fees, and they ask them to bring two hundred million naira. It's not the it's not the children they are talking to. They are talking to the people that are, that are having their money because they know they are stolen their money. So they want to take it back. Unfortunately, they are going in the wrong way. You know. Okay. You are talking about you know reacting democratically yes yeah which is fundamental rather than taking arms and all of that there are periodic elections yes. where we you know nigerians have the opportunity you know to to change any government that is not performing and so on but before we get to that democratic there are there are dem other democratic mechanisms exactly. that, that will help in ameliorating some of these problems yes. you talk about what need to be done perhaps at the national level yes. where the national assembly can come to the rescue yes and in the case of subnational governments the state some would say that that's the worst case scenario the you know, the, the state assemblies are almost not non-existent. Like, so how do we get them to get the governors to sit up to their responsibilities in an atmosphere that they don't almost exist in in, in the respective states? You see, the problem we have, like mm -hmm. we have rightly said, is mm -hmm. top the bottom problem. You know, mm -hmm. the problem is top. You know, the solution is from the bottom. Okay. What am I saying? Mm -hmm. I think if Nigerians begin to hold power to account, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure, unfortunately for us, unfortunately for us, the the, the way it's happening today is the, is the very wrong way. Mm. You know, and perhaps we have exhausted all avenues of having political solutions mm. to these things, like you are saying. Right. And because what one would have expected, mm. and then also to 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 also you must also give it to Mr. President mm. that he tried because I am I'm, I'm aware of the executive. I mean, yeah, uh, ten, uh, yeah. yeah ten, yeah. which was aimed at mm. sorting out or resolving this. In any case, you know, we should commend Mr. President that he has, uh, actually, actually, that that case. Case has yes, it, it, taken some initiative to mm. ensure that because it's a dangerous, you know, uh, uh, lacuna mm. we have in the system. Dangerous that will, in case not taken like he's doing now, mm. it will bring down the whole roof as far as democracy is concerned. Mm. Because people are uh, 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 frustrated completely that, okay, how do we deal with these people, for God's sake? Mm. This is our money. Oh. We elected representatives in the, name, in, the, in the name of House of uh, State yes, Assemblies, yeah. and these people are in the pocket of the governors because oh. they are the ones that will appoint those that are going to be elected as representatives. Oh. You know, they are the ones that will give them ticket. They are the ones that will elect them. Oh. If even if another party wins, they won't give them the, the, the seat. Oh. So, let us know what is even worse. You know, as an organized crime, that is even worse. You know, they don't they don't even allow any other party to 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 even if you make up here. We are the ones who are in the yeah. We are taking it all. Mm. So they behave as emperors. You know, and 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 and, and, and funny enough, the same people are even asking that they should be given more powers. That the evolution of power, the structure, mm. give us more powers. Yeah. You know, more powers to kill Nigerians to to ensure that you 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 destroy the whole system. You know, they say they want state police. So so what I'm saying is that if you don't give them the power. 
uh, if you don't give them the, the, the I mean, sure, the, 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 the security agencies, uh, they are helpless because they don't control the, the, the police. Yeah. They don't have, uh, they cannot give directive to the yeah, 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 well, they need state police because when they're still, they want the police to protect them so that nobody can, the, the, the citizens cannot even talk anymore. Mm. Because you talk, they will send the police to your house and then you know, whisk you away. Oh, you know, you know, that's you understand the that's, 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 that's exactly what it is. Mm. That's exactly what it is. You know, they want to ensure that not only are they stealing, mm. they want to also make sure that they have people to protect them. You know, that I will steal your money with impunity and you can do nothing because I have the state police that will come after you. If it's a helpless situation, perhaps at the, at the state level, because yes, if at the national level we have the National Assembly uh, to act, and, perhaps, and they refuse to act too. <laughs> well, and then perhaps we also have uh, other pressure groups, yeah. civil society, and all. we don't see much of their presence at the state level. You know, most of the the energies yeah. channel towards the center. Yes. Uh, we don't see civil society organizations also rising up to the occasion to hold leadership accountable, especially yeah. at the subnational level. Yeah. Why is this happening? It is happening because the fact of the matter is that the system, as we have it today, is like a pyramid turned on its head. You know, everything will crumble. Yeah. So care is not taken if we do not bring the property back in on the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. Believe me, this system will crumble. Yeah. You know, there's no doubt it will crumble if we go on like this. Yeah. If you don't check the way yeah. elections are conducted, yeah. especially at the at the local government levels, yeah. if you don't check the kind of uh, the control, you know, obnoxious control that the governors have over the House of Assembly members, you know, yeah. to allow the system to work because the system is not working. You know. It's not working at all, and 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 the issue is this. I think the the the, the Mr. President, Mr. President, mm. has a unique opportunity mm. that I think he should not lose. He should lose that opportunity to write his name in gold, to leave something as a legacy that generations yet and will come and dub their heart for him, mm. which is the electoral bill. Mm. You know. If he can work towards getting that bill mm. ratified and he passes it before the next elections, mm. you know, I'm sure you will, you will, you can go, you can, you can, you can mm. finish his time to rest, and yeah. then believe that mm. yes, Nigerians will be will be grateful to him, not mm. even this Nigerian, even the ones yet are born. Mm. Why? Because you see, the bill of our problems, mm. development, unity, or what have you, mm. is in the process of recruitment of leaders. Mm. You know, the, the, the system we are using to recruit leaders today is corrupt. Mm. So, a corrupt system cannot, cannot produce, you know, it, yeah. can, it can't, it yeah. cannot even produce anything, any, any uh, person that will have mm. the sympathy and the interest of the people. Yeah. It will only produce corrupt, you know, people, yeah. uh, as governors, as mm. uh, local government chairman, mm. you know, a case not taken even as president, mm. you know. Well, that, that's an aspect of it. But some will say it is not about the laws, we have enough laws, but it's about implementation, it's our, our, about our attitude. Whatever laws we have, so long as we don't have the attitude to enforce, you know, to, enforce yeah. and to do the right yeah. thing, mm. we will continue to be within the, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, going around the cycle. Uh, we, we have to take a break here, uh, in case you're just joining us, the program is Democracy in Practice. And we're looking at um, uh, securing the lives of the people in a democratic setup. And I have been interfacing with engineer by Gibbs of Sani. As the national chairman of the Action Democratic Party, uh, it, it, he is also its uh, presidential candidate in 2019, uh, the, um, the, the title now, <laughs> the <laughs> Jakarta <Jacobin. Jacobin. laughs> So we'll take a short break. When we return, we'll continue with this discussion. Stay with us. Democracy in Practice.
fan of Liberty Television and Radio. You enjoy our programs and entertainment. If yes, then we are excited to introduce you to our new Liberty TV installers right from your comfort zone. With just one phone call at very affordable rates, we can guarantee you the best professionals to handle your cable and satellite television needs at very affordable rates. Also, you can find us at Sud B7, 8 Sierra Plaza, Sylvester Ugo Christian, Jabi Abuja. You can reach us on 081 609 09629 or 080-359-81503 or 081-3767-1781 Liberty Television, voice for all, vision for all. Democracy in practice. in practice. But today, we're looking at the task of securing uh, the lives of the people in a democratic setup. Uh, we're looking at all of this, um, you know, in line with the current situation the country uh, is finding itself, talking about the, the level of deteriorating security situation and uh, the seeming failure of, you know, governance uh, to tackle this uh, national emergency. And I've been uh, interfacing with Engineer Ayaba Yusuf Sani, uh, the National Chairman of the Action Democratic Party, uh, its presidential candidate in 2019, and the Jakarta Nufi. Uh, before the break, we were, you know, you painted a very, well, gloomy situation, a very, very scary picture of what we are facing as a nation. Um, but we're talking about remedy now. Um, yes, you're talking about the need for the government, the president in particular, to rise up to the occasion and ensure that the template, you know, the legal template or the, 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 the constitutional template, uh, you know, is, is, is addressed, you know, to provide that legal framework that will guarantee, you know, a credible and, of course, uh, uh, acceptable elections in Nigeria. Well, election is one aspect of, you know, what, what, we, what people can use to change uh, or to change the narrative or the trajectory. Again, we are having a hopeless situation in the sense that uh, Nigerians are beginning to get fed up, just like you rightly put. Uh, they go to the polls and elect leaders, but in the end, the, the, the vote doesn't count. So people are also getting uh, reserved. You know, they're getting back and laying back now because they've realized perhaps uh, the mandate is not uh, working. So. Um, beyond the legal um, framework that needed to be addressed, what are the parameters Nigerians can deploy, you know, uh, or stakeholders? Because Nigerians, yes, the ordinary Nigerians can only elect, uh, you know, except in the case, in the case of uh, uh, representatives where you can recall. Even the power of recall is weakened because of the loopholes, you know, in the legal framework and so on. So what are those, what are other measures that you think we can deploy? to save the situation at the moment? Well, you see, I think, Mr. President, it's torn between two lovers. Okay. 
and he's feeling like a fool okay. in the eyes of the people. Okay. The two lovers, uh, he's torn between the civilians mm. and his constituency. Mm. That's the military, political, oh, okay. the military, uh, military constituency. Okay. That's, you know, that's, that's, my, that's my understanding because he has refused mm. to take certain actions mm. against his constituency, you know, uh, maybe they speak the call that they, they normally say that's why he couldn't take those actions against, mm. particularly, for instance, the, 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 the former service chiefs. Mm. Those guys should have been inducted, brought back, brought back mm. asked questions to give account of the billions of dollars that they were given and the money that were been voted for, mm. that there are no arms, to fight the ragtag bandits mm. and the people are smiling to the banks, you know, that nobody's mm. doing anything. Instead, you are giving them more honors. Mm. So, so, so it's like he's torn between his responsibilities mm. as, as a civilian president mm. and his, 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 his previous his constituency of the ministry which he, which he is from. Mm. So the point I'm trying to make is this. Yes. Mr. President, should please mm. look at the issue of mercenaries. Mm. You know, it is not a sign of weakness. Mm. In fact, it is strength. If you know that you don't have that strength and you outsource, mm -hmm. you know, even in business, mm -hmm. people outsource. Mm -hmm. How much more of such a serious business of protecting the citizens of this country and you don't want to outsource? And you can see that your system, mm -hmm. your own internal, you know, mm -hmm. arrangement is weak. Mm -hmm. You know, so... And, and, and it's a hard work thing. It's not something that is a permanent thing. Mm. You, you uh, look at but who, who, but who, who can, can, Yes, who will give the, 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 the I mean, who will facilitate it? Because the same people the that you are talking about will also, would also advise perhaps the government uh, the, the other way around now that we don't need mercenaries, we can deal with the and, situation. And the are killed first, everybody, everybody is, is gone. It's not that you, you now look for mercenaries to come and protect the cops. The cops of Nigerians, or what are you talking about? But yeah, people are dying. Mm. These are in. I'm definitely sure that there are people outside Nigeria. Mm. So there are people that are that that are all over the. between the, the, the security mm. agencies, you know. Uh, and it's not the first time people are talking about lack of synergy. Even the, so, so, even the so, National Security Advisor said, said that at some point. So what that that there was no synergy between the land, I mean, the, the, the army, the land, where, army, where, the Air where, Force, and the rest of it. Where is the Commander-in-Chief? What is he doing? Mm. What is the work of Commander-in-Chief? Mm. Huh? Is he not to coordinate all the, uh, the armed forces, all the, the various uh, uh, units of the mm. of the of the of the, of the, agent, the security agents? But the situation has given way, is, you know, the, since the, the the change of the service chiefs and all. But I'm talking about yesterday. Mm. The IGP made this this uh, mm. statement yesterday. That means we're not out of news. Or say back, back, to the, back to square, back to square one, mm. and and, and, they, and they don't have arms. Mm. How can, you, how can you place all that today because the ones they gave them, you know, they squandered the money, they stole the money, they ran away with the money, and then you are giving them more money now. You give them money, you can't just get, the, these are not something like, these are not things we buy out of uh, yeah. off the shelves. Exactly. You know, so what you mean is we are going to spend another six months mm. until all of us are killed. Mm. You know? So what I'm saying is that Mr. Mm. President should consider the idea of hiring machineries. Mm. He should jettison his love for, the, for his constituency and put, come, please come and protect us as civilians. We elected you as a civilian president. Mm. Nobody will take it against you that you are not strong or you are not you are weak or something like that. Mm, yeah. Even America, mm -hmm. they engage machineries in some, some ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, in some ways. That's right. Okay, so talking about his constituency, you know, <laughs> you can say there are two grounds also, uh, yes. or two, uh, you know, uh, uh, sectors if you talk about a constituency. Yes. Those serving and those that have retired, for yes. instance. Yes. There have been also concerns regarding, you know, the involvement of some top, you know, uh, people in, in in undermining perhaps or in 
deterioration of the security situation in the country. And uh, there is need for perhaps the government to also um, take certain measures, you know, uh, to bring people to book, especially those that have been found wanting or complacent, you know, in, in the whole security uh, arrangement or this deterioration in the country. And that haven't been, you know, also uh, seen by Nigerians. And a lot of Nigerians have been waiting to see beyond just those uh, 400 uh, bureau de chiefs and bureau de change operatives that were, you know, there are said to be people also who are sponsoring this um, criminalities in our country. And these are people that are also not above the law. But each time yeah, the, the security agencies will tell you, and the top echelon will tell you that we know these people, we know that there are conspiracies to bring the government down and all of that, but we haven't seen cogent action, you know, to unmask the people or to apprehend them or to prosecute them. Yeah, but well, you see, you see, I, I don't know, mm -hmm. the, the, the blame game, you know, mm -hmm. or, or rather, you know, the excuses that this administration has been, you know, given. Advancing way. Right? Cannot give, cannot help the situation, mm. you know. And if Mr. President is afraid of doing everything that will bring down the reputation of his constituency, mm. then I'm afraid that you know we will lose it completely. Mm. Everything. So the political so, will, you know, to deal with the issue of the to, to to deal with the, the situation decisively, you know, because if he doesn't like, he knows himself. Mm. You know, as a matter of fact, the only reason why he was elected was because they know people people believe mm. that mm. somebody who is not afraid of anything, if it is in the interest of the country, mm. he will go for it. That's right. You know, mm. He will down the constitution and say, do it because that's this right. is what is in the interest of the country. Mm. I think that's one of the reasons why people. Mm voted for him as, as they did to, to, to deal with the issue of insecurity, corruption, and things like that. So all those things will require somebody mm. who is very courageous, yeah. who has the interests of this country at heart and does not care who you are, mm. you know, so long he knows that, you know, you are not uh, helping the situation in terms of building the country. So so I think mm. the, the, the issue of uh, the retired, you know, uh, uh, mm. uh, military officers and things like that, Mm. Some of who have been wrongly or rightly, you know, accused, uh, accused yeah. of uh, under, mm. you know, uh, smothering this uh, uh, insecurity thing. Mm. You know, the question you ask yourself is why? Why should they do that? Mm. Why are they doing that? Perhaps mm. Mr. President has refused to take to carry that along. <laughs> Perhaps I don't know. <laughs> and they feel, and they feel that they have a stake too, mm. and they have experience, they have the knowledge, mm. they believe that they can contribute. Mm. If he has the ability to go down and make inviting that, okay, mm. you guys, this country belongs to all of us. Yeah. What do you do? Right. Okay. okay. So I, I don't know. I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I know. Perhaps because they are Nigerians, mm. I cannot think of any reason why some people have to bring down the government. That, that level mm. of, uh, of responsibility in this country mm. Mm. and will now be, be complicit mm. in, 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 in bringing down the government. Yeah. 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 What the citizens can also do to help in salvaging the situation. Uh, the 2023 question, you know, also come to the fore. Um, uh, part of the deterioration of security in the country is, you know, being blamed on this power uh, uh, agitation, if you like, uh, uh, people wanting to get power at all costs. Yeah. Now, the 2023 question, um, either from the southwest or from the southeast, you name it, you know, the equation. And the, the trajectory is said to have uh, gotten worse as a result of the power struggle. Uh, even, you know, the president has admitted that, you know, that there is need, I mean, for the government is making efforts to fund the, the electoral empire so that people don't think that the government doesn't want to go. Yes. So, um, uh, people are looking at uh, the, the struggle for this 2023 as also, um, it, I mean, putting or helping in deteriorating the security situation in the country. Why should the political blocs think about 2023 uh, without thinking about a sustainable and stable nation before 2023? 
Well, because in the past, the military, uh, fortunately, had uh, given the impression that if you put the polity on the bell, mm. you know, you will get what you want in this country, just like, you know, the unions, when they ask for something from the government or something like that, they don't let they go on strike or something like that, mm. to keep the... the, 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 the yeah, yeah, on the bell. The demands, right. Yes. So, mm. you, if you remember, mm. after the, the demands of uh, Abiola, mm. you know, and uh, when the military you know, manipulated the, 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 the process mm. to now reward the Southwest, mm. you know, uh, gave them the, the presidency on the platter of gold mm. when Obasanjo was given 99, yeah, 1999. So maybe that aside, the South Sisters now are thinking that perhaps, you know, we should use the, uh, the, the instrument of coercion, mm. you know, of uh, violence. Mm. Perhaps that is what Nigerians understand. Mm. Maybe if we keep the things on the bell so much, mm. then they'll say, oh, okay, please let, let's appease this one. Let's mm. give them the, the, the presidency. Mm. You know, and not understanding that the situation is, is a completely different situation scenario you have today. Mm. Not like the, the one you have the military. Mm. You know, we are we are hanging over and say that if we don't if we don't elect somebody from the southwest or if we, if we don't elect uh, one of our own, mm. we will not hand over. You know, that's what they told us as politicians at that time. Mm. So when was was given the power, mm. so the Igbos now South Easterners perhaps uh, you know. Uh, I I told him mm -hmm. that okay, let us also keep the things on the, keep, keep the policy on the board mm -hmm. so that uh, the the Nigerians will now say oh, okay, let, please let's give it to the Igbos so that we can have peace. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't work. Well, that's 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 Otherwise, okay, why should you why should you why should you coerce us? Why should you threaten us? Why should you blackmail us? Mm -hmm. You know, to give you power. Mm -hmm. You know. If you demonstrate that you have least confidence in the corporate existence mm -hmm. of the country, mm -hmm. does that make does that qualify you to become the leader? You know, that in fact, you know, uh, disqualifies you in the first instance. Yeah, and, and even, to, even politics, a product yeah. of consensus, a pro product of alliance, exactly. a product of reaching out. Exactly. You know, yeah. all of those uh, parameters where you can get other components yeah. of the... Uh, but like I said, the only, yes. the only thing I can think about is what, perhaps what happened when the Southwest got the presidency from the North, mm -hmm. or from the military, mm -hmm. so to speak, mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. So the Igbos now believe that that is the language or that is the mm -hmm. system that they, they should also use. Mm -hmm. Black men, the Northerners, kill some of them, mm -hmm. keep things on the board, burn whatever you want to burn, mm -hmm. then when you keep things on the board, mm -hmm. then people will now they start thinking that, oh, okay, let's, like, I'm saying to you, I, I was reading from the, uh, uh, yes. the Northern that uh, nobody should stand in the way of the Igbo thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, that, they uh, be, yeah. that they should be allowed to 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 mm -hmm. move out of the. Uh, you know. Yeah. Hating the politics. Uh, hating the politics or something like or that. Shedding blood. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, so if that is to call their blood, you know, mm -hmm. in any case. But to me, I, I, I think as a responsible government and the the, 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 the 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 government should find a way by which we keep this country as one. Because it's in the interest of everybody, you know. Uh, we must do it, and government is the one that's responsible for that because they are the one entrusted. Yeah, but the government is responsible with that number. That's the issue of uh, no one should, should stampede it. Yeah. Uh, or, or, I mean, or intimidate yeah. it into, into submitting to yeah. others' uh, yeah. agitation and so on. Yeah. Uh, even though it's part of the democracy too, yeah. they allow people to make, but then when it becomes uh, violence, violence yes. that's when perhaps the government yes. has to rise. Yes. And, and, but then, again, uh, coming back to you know, citizens' uh, responsibility, yes. um, we have a citizenry must be also in, or must get itself involved yeah. you know, in changing this narrative. Yes. Um, but we can only do that, perhaps the citizens can only do that in it uses the democratic instrument. Exactly. Yeah. So, but again, um, apart, apart from the, the situation with regards to the, the enabling playing ground, you know, talking about the democratic processes and so on, yeah. um, Nigerians too, perhaps some will say we need attitudinal change. Uh, because sometimes we reward or we submit into, you know, people who we know in the first place, doesn't have the capacity to lead, or doesn't, uh, because of our certain sat, sat, sentiments, you know, the citizens also bring in people who don't have, you know, that capacity to address uh, fundamental problems. About but, but it's the system, it's the system. Mm. If we continue the system of elections as we have it today, mm. if the, the, the proposed amendments to mm. the electoral bill are not passed, mm. you as a citizen have Nothing to do. What can you do? You don't have the army, you don't have the police. Mm. In fact, you don't have the kind of money that some of these people that uh, have uh, engaged in this state capture, mm. you know, have. So, 
Yeah, yeah the students are helpless. That's what has, has been happening. Mm -hmm. You know, you can carry all the placards you want and go to wherever you want to go to. Mm -hmm. the, the, these cooks will continue to now load it over us and then bring whoever they want to bring. They declare him as the elected person in, in, in your, on your behalf that is going to represent you. Mm -hmm. Although he doesn't even know you, he doesn't like you, mm -hmm. he doesn't have any sympathy for you. He, you know, all he knows is money because that's what got him there. Mm -hmm. So until we change this system. So how do we get, you know, the voice of the people count? Um, because we were talking about constitutional amendment to, um, I mean, to, to do, uh, to remedy the situation, yes. uh, to get the, vo the voice, I mean, voice to the voiceless. Yes. Now, uh, some are talking about the need to insert, you know, some ref clauses, you know, including a referendum clause where Nigerians can voice out, you know, we can have uh, Nigerians decide on certain fundamental issues affecting the country. You see, you have to look at this country yes, and see where, we're coming, coming up. Yeah, where we are coming from. Mm. You know, I think the drafters of the constitution mm. are very much aware of the issue of referendum. Mm. You know, the possibility of having a referendum in the constitution. Mm. And they decided against it for a good reason. Mm. They know that this country today, you know, is uh, 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 it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a work in progress to greatness. Because they know that if you can keep this together, if European years, you know, those of recent had to come together to form a block so that they can they can be able to influence certain things international level and with, and then solve their own internal problems, you know, so that they will have what you call the currency of scale and things like that. Then Nigeria as God has given us for today, nobody should do anything that will aid disintegration in any form that you think. I think that's one of the reasons that the drafters of the constitution, you know, uh, silent on, on this whole referendum. And and then, and then uh, 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 and the issue mm. of uh, allowing people to have voice yeah. is the recruitment of leadership. Mm. It will make it transparent. Mm. It will make it free and a credible mm. and a peaceful election mm. using the, the, the tools that are, are today available, mm. like making sure that the election results are not tempered with, mm. you know, the amount of process is reduced to bare minimum. Mm. And